In this video, I am going to try out Google Gemini 2.5 Pro on some clinical NLP use cases. So what is clinical NLP? It is the application of natural language processing techniques in the clinical domain to do various tasks like report generation, analyzing medical reports, right? Analyzing things like current medications, past medical history or discharge summary from medical reports or from clinician notes identifying named identities and concepts like diagnosis treatments so this is clinical nlp so i actually wanted to do this with gemini 2.5 pro to see how much has llm advanced in the space of clinical nlp so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take this particular clinical discharge summary so this is a female patient uh, you know who was admitted for a neurosurgery the patient complaints of headaches and dizziness um, so there was a cerebral aneurysm and a particular surgery was done and the patient was discharged with and given some medications okay so this is the clinical note on which i want to perform certain tasks okay so the first one which i tried was i gave this clinical note okay in google ai studio right so what i do is that i create a prompt over here and i select gemini 2.0 pro experimental this is the latest version uh, this has reasoning capabilities and i say summarize this clinical note and i paste that text over here okay uh, so what it does is that it does this thinking over here it says that breakdown of the thinking process to summarize the clinical note identify document type and purpose the note starts with discharge summary so you know the primary goal is to summarize the patient's hospital stay from admission to discharge including the reason for admission key events then it says extract key patient demographics and dates patient is 40 year old female admission date is so discharge date is so reason for admission is presenting with headaches relevant past medical history allergies home medications okay primary reason determine the primary reason for hospitalization uh, chronologically summarize the hospital course like surgery happened then what happened basically a uh, day to day kind of as thing uh, the patient's journey from the admission to discharge okay so surgery happened then post op on day 1 what was the event then surgery 2 patient returned to the operating room for this thing post operation care what was done transfer to floor recovery on the floor identify discharge inf uh, information okay so it does all these things and finally it presents you with this particular summary so patient is a 40 year old female admission was done on this date to neurology service to uh, due to headache dizziness with a history of similar episodes let's just cross verify this 17 3 2015 right so over here, uh, admission date is 17-3-2015. Discharge date is 24-3-2015. Okay. And the patient is afforded complaints of headache and dizziness. So that is what, uh, you know, is, is coming over here. Right. The patient was admitted for treatment of this. She underwent a surgery, um, you know, clipping off right to this thing and anterior aneurysms. So Post-operative day one cerebral angiogram uh, revealed a third aneurysm. So again, the patient returned to operating room and it was done she was monitored initially in the surgical icu transferred to the floor recovered well ambulating with physical therapy tolerating diet incision healing well uh, patient cleared for discharge home with home pt services physical therapy services okay basically here physical therapist cleared her for discharge with home pt services condition at discharge discharge medications appointment in 10 days generating such summaries with traditional clinical nlp techniques was really difficult in the past and here it has become a zero shot prompt to this particular LLM. I'm kind of amazed at the results which I'm seeing over here. Okay. So the next task which I want to show is that you would want to extract the ICD codes and you would want to identify primary and secondary conditions. So this is for post claim processing, insurance processing, and all those other uh, kind of you know post uh, analysis on your data, right? So over here, again, what I did is I just gave her this prompt saying that in the medical text below, extract ICD codes and also verify them with the ICD codes dictionary, identify primary and secondary conditions. A key thing over here is I want it to be grounded with some ICD codes dictionary. So I can enable Google search grounding with Google search over here. Okay, so I gave this particular text as input and here if you go to the thoughts of the model, it says understand the goal, extract potential medical conditions from the text that could correspond to ICD codes, verify these conditions against an ICD code dictionary using the search tool. Awesome. Identify the primary and secondary conditions based on the context of discharge summary. Then strategy for extracting conditions, read through the text, looking for diagnosis, symptoms and procedures. List them potentially as history of present illness, past medical uh, history, allergies, hospital course procedures. Refine the list of conditions for ICD coding. What can be coded, what cannot be coded. Right? And cerebral aneurysm is the primary reason. This seems like the main uh, diagnosis. Hypothyroidism, penicillin allergy may be coded, but usually as a status. Right? Post-operative health uh, headache. 
expected but severe status post uh, this thing so this is the procedure status often coded so it identifies all these things and then you know it kind of gives you this particular uh, icd potential icd 10 codes so cerebral aneurysm uh, this is the icd code uh, one uh, i67.1 uh, cerebral aneurysm non ruptured so when i search for that over here i could find out that it was actually this thing it even points out to the reference for that maybe we'll open the reference and see what it is uh, okay see here it goes to this icd this thing and from there it has extracted that aneurysm okay so that is what it is i also did a google search of this and uh, against uh, this thing maybe you can search it so that it becomes clear So if you see this uh, ICD-167.1 is for disease of the circulatory system, it is cerebral aneurysm non-ruptured. So it is from this particular source as well. Okay. So if you look at the references over here, where it gives, it gives this particular organization, which I just, you know, no, this is different. This is AAPC.com, but here it shows uh, another, it is there as a third reference over here. Okay. So it kind of extracts all these ICD-10 codes and it identifies the, you know, primary and secondary uh, condition. So, primary condition is cerebral aneurysm, secondary conditions are all these things like hypothyroidism, headache, dizziness, allergy status to certain medication. Okay. In summary, the patient was primarily admit treatment of multiple non-ruptured cerebral aneurysms. Secondary diagnosis are these things. So, this helps in coding of this medical report for claim processing and you know tasks like that. Okay. So, this is ICD-10 um, code extraction, right? Uh, so, over here also you have that ICD-10 data basically. You know, you can cross-check these ICD-10 codes over there. So the next one which I tried was like, you know, given the below medical text, extract conditions, their severity, onset, date of symptoms, current treatment. Okay, this is another way of representing this report. Um, so this particular discharge summary. So when I gave that, it extracted correctly clinical conditions, onset, date of symptoms. Symptoms were there one and a half year ago, right? Aneurysms discovered during admission, third aneurysm confirmed. Okay, current treatment is this. Uh, clinical condition headache mentioned as severe post-operatively episode previously also year and a half ago uh, current treatment is this particular medication at discharge clinical condition dizziness severity is not specified onset is like part of presenting complaint leading to admission so it is actually extracting all these clinical conditions severity onset date of symptoms current treatment based on you know whatever i have uh, the clinical note which is present over here then i said that can you convert this text to a soap note okay uh, a soap note basically has something known as subjective information objective so subjective information is information reported by the patient or their representative this includes main complaints uh, history of present illness past medical history social history and so on okay objective is what is measured factual measured observable data this includes vital signs physical exam findings laboratory results and so on assessment is the clinician's diagnosis or differential diagnosis uh, it should list the primary problems secondary issues P is plan the proposed management strategy. This covers further diagnostic uh, tests, treatments, consultation, patient education, and follow-up instructions. Okay, uh, a soap note is specific to the clinical domain. Uh, information from clinical notes may be stored as a soap note in EHR EMR. Right. Uh, so based on that, uh, it has understood what is soap in this context. It has it uh, it says what needs to be done, and finally, it is actually generating this particular soap note. Patient 40 year old female, date of note, discharge date is this, service is neurosurgery, subjective is chief complaint rate admission, headaches and dizziness, history of present illness, past medical history, allergies, home medication, everything it has captured properly. Objective is this, admission vitals, admission physical exam, right, hospital course. So you have this information over here in the particular this thing. Uh, the physical exam and other things are present over here. On physical examination, blood pressure was this, in general this thing, H E E N T um, this thing, pupils are equal, round reaction are reactive to light, all this cardiac, abdomen is soft, everything is there. So that is kind of captured over here, right, in the objective notes. Okay, in the hospital course is this, admitted, underwent this surgery, everything is there. Assessment was this, multiple cerebral aneurysms, post operative this thing, plan is this, medications are given, activity, uh, with continue with home physical therapy, wound care, keep this particular wound clean, dry, follow up appointment with the doctor in 10 days, patient education, patient educated on medications, activity, uh, sign symptoms requiring and medical attention, right, disposition, discharge home today. So it has done this excellently. Okay, so this was a soap note creation. Now the next thing which I wanted to show over here was like a simple, you know, uh, extraction of clinical entities from this particular uh, text. Okay, so we wanted to extract the clinical entity. So I said extract clinical entities and their spans, create a JSON for the same. It actually ends up creating everything over here. This is the uh, whatever reasoning or thinking. And if you look at the output over here, still the thinking. So this is the output which has been created. If you look at over here, it uh, you know it creates like age 48. It pulls non-clinical entities also. 
some clinical entities as well so some amount of refinement needs to be done to the prompt over here uh, right um, so this is the output which is created okay department is neurosurgery age is 40 year old uh, sex is female symptom is headache symptom dizziness and so on okay so it kind of extracts this thing i said extract entries as per rat legs ontology so i wanted to map it to a rat legs ontology so it understands what is this uh, rat legs right first i need to re-identify the clinical entities then map them to rat legs ontology for each i need to find most appropriate rat legs term so again i used uh, i didn't use grounding with google search over here i should have used it to cross verify it but i didn't do it it still could pull out you know uh, the rat legs what do you call entities over here like this right neurosurgery rat legs entity id is this thing so this is how you can map the entities to uh, another ontology could be snowmed ct could be rad legs okay and then you can store the data in a format in which you want so these were some of the clinical tasks which i clinical nlp tasks which i tried with gemini pro 2.5 pro i'm amazed at the amount of development which has happened in this space uh, you know earlier with traditional clinical nlp uh, this was really tough to do it but now it seems all easy with just a prompt okay but then there are also questions regarding the accuracy of this extraction. So just because I showed you a prompt over here and it extracted, you need to actually verify further whether you know it is doing the right job over here. So we need to do some kind of verification, validation and other things before we apply it at scale on for clinical NLP. From the initial results, it definitely looks promising, but a lot of validation verification needs to go if you want to put some of these use cases into a product for clinical NLP. So this was a short video on making use of Gemini Pro, um, basically 2.5 Pro experimental, the latest uh, model from uh, Google for clinical NLP. I hope this video was useful to you. See you in another video.